you can see, they've drawn a bunch of cells out here. Before we get into the video, um, and I'll tell you what we're going to do, we're going to check the um, box that I've got still out over at the trap out and then uh, add a cone to where the bees are coming and going from the tree uh, in another location. But first I want to talk about a little bit of uh, why we're pulling multiple boxes from the trap out the way that we are. And I'll show you here actually out of my other deal with the, uh, the mulberries on this tree. There's a lot of them. Look at all those. I'm not sure why there's so many mulberries on this tree. But so, <clears throat> already, look at them. I don't know if that's some of the bird have already crapped out, but let's open this one and peek in here. So see, we got some bees in here. This is just the amount that we vacuumed up the other day, so this is gonna be the smallest population. Okay, we got some bees in there. We've also got bees in here, and I'm not going to open these up just because um, they're in the process of uh, accepting a new queen, hopefully, and I don't really want to disturb them, but there's a lot more bees in here than what are in there. You just kind of take my word for it. There's a ton of bees in here. All this is from the trap out, and then there is a pretty large amount of bees in this blue box as well. And like I said, we've got another, a whole nother box um, over at the trap out. And I've already been over there, so I know that they drew out um, 22. They drew out 22 queen cells over there. And I squashed a bunch of them just so that there wouldn't be a whole bunch of after swarms. Um, and so the reason we're doing this, because I'm going through the trouble to um, do this trap out, I want to give myself the best odds of getting some new queens for my trouble. So we could have just gone over there and stacked up boxes super high and tried to shove them all into one box, but uh, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to try to get a queen mated there, try to get a queen mated here, try to get a queen mated here, try to get a queen mated over there, try to get another queen mated. So I'm right now I'm in the process of getting if I got 100%, I would get five additional queens, which would make doing the trap out, hopefully, uh, worth my trouble. And they're drawing some wax, and they're doing some stuff too. Now, it's uh, obviously a lot of work going back and forth from this place and messing with it, putting the screen up, doing this, that, and the other. But uh, I just wanted to explain part of the reasoning behind um, why I'm doing it the way that I'm doing it because there's like a thousand different ways uh, to go about doing something like this and just because I'm doing it this way doesn't mean it's the easiest way or maybe the best way to do it um, given any you know any particular situation if the tree hadn't been so uh, so holy I would have just smoked them out and been done with it but uh, because I couldn't do that I've shifted my goals and now we're trying to get some queens made so let's jump right into the uh, the video. I know I'm having trouble keeping these uh, these videos short. Um, it's just there's just a lot going on in the trap out, and uh, I don't I don't know what to cut and what not to cut. Maybe I'll try to trim some of the uh, some of the fat off of uh, this video. All right, we're at the trap out again. Looks like we got a much more manageable number of bees here. I'm going to get inside this box and take a look and see how they are doing. I don't know how well you'll be able to hear me. I'm not wearing a uh, microphone right now. But we're just going to get in here and see if we can see um, the queen cells, if they've drawn anything out here.
you can see they've drawn a bunch of cells out here. And they have filled every other cell with nectar. They got a bunch of cells over here too. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. Twenty-five cells on one frame. So what we're gonna do here. See these, this one, I don't like them as much. Let's pull them out. This one's a little caved in here. Then pull her out. Let's pull her out. That one's going to be behind. Pull this one out. Pull all these out. Okay, so we got one, two here. Still too many cells, but I think I'll leave it at that. This was just foundation. Let me show you guys what we're doing here. We've got a uh, another tree step right there, and we are uh, got to go up and put another cone up on a hole that they're coming out of up there. I think it's the same colony, but just in case it's not the same colony, we're gonna put a cone on it. So I'm gonna climb up there, and then I'll probably start this video up again up there. Okay, now we're up in the tree. I'll show you guys. Where they're coming and going here. Right. So we are going to we are going to install a cone just in case. Otherwise, we would just block this up. Oh, I have this thing going. Found the tree and now it's stopped. Look at all the uh, wax and stuff here. Allow around this entrance kind of makes me think this might be a separate colony in the same tree, but it may not be.
see how this works here. The bees don't know to go in up here. They try to go in down here and they get stuck on the outside. Look at this bee right over here. This is crazy. She got a lot of bees falling. Oh. You did good. You get to go in. Good. Go in. Oh, you had it. Mm -hmm. Trying to help you out. Well, I hope that was interesting. Maybe I'll uh, be able to edit out some of that uh, crap in the middle. I don't know if you can hear me very well, but uh, that's what we're doing. And uh, like I said before, that uh, those climbing sticks have come in handy again. And there's the other cone down there. I mean, it's possible that that's the same colony from down there all the way up here. I mean, this tree's could be hollow all the way through, but I just don't know. So that's why I've done a cone here instead of just closing this off completely. And uh, they're high enough up up here that maybe the homeowners probably wouldn't even notice them, but just in case it's the same colony, that was down entering in at ground level, which was causing them so much trouble. I'll go ahead and see if I can trap these girls out as well. And, uh, it just is what it is. It's just adding a lot of time to the deal because I didn't see them until early this week, but then I had to go out of town for work. I was in uh, another state, so I couldn't come out here. I tried to. Uh, get up there but the ladder wouldn't reach i just had this ladder here so i either need to bring back a better ladder or uh, use this uh, climbing stick which i ended up using the climbing stick so thanks for watching catch you on the next one but i think i'll show you guys since i just looked over here and seen we've got 41 clips right now these bunnies are ready for uh new homes there's the mama right there. And I got 41 of these rabbits here on the homestead. And you can see we keep them in these cages here so that we can move them around onto fresh grass. And you can tell back here where they've been. See, they've eaten the grass and then we move them along. And you can tell we've, we've run them over here in the yard. And uh, my wife mowed last weekend, but in this big square here, I don't know if you can tell some of where the there's this taller grass, looks like it's dead in here. Uh, you could really tell a difference in the quality of the, uh, of the grass because it was growing so well because of the rabbit fertilizer. So it improves your soil. It's uh, healthier for the rabbits because they got uh, you know, fresh grass and stuff to eat in addition to their food. See all the baby rabbits in there? They're a little bit smaller because uh, JJ had, I think she had 10 or 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I guess she had ten, which is quite a lot to uh, take care of. And so JJ, um, her father was an Angora, and then her, we'll call it her husband, was also an Angora. So you can kind of see how fluffy these little little baby bunnies are, but then look at that one, it isn't. See, that one's got short fur, that one's got long fur. Because these are uh, these are three quarter angora, and an angora is just a uh, uh, it's a rabbit that's bred for wool. So we'll actually take these rabbits and uh, shave them, and then you can spin the wool into yarn. Uh, 